Hello everyone. Welcome back to adupediaword.com. Your destination to free online education. In this video, we will be discussing about area of a triangle using coordinate geometry. Friends, suppose we are given with vertices of a triangle on the Cartesian plane as A B and C and their coordinates be represented by x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 respectively then the area bounded by these vertices is given by this expression let us see how friends let us draw some lines from these vertices parallel to y axis as aq bp and cr since all these lines are drawn parallel to y axis therefore they will be parallel to each other thus we can say that each pair of these lines will form a trapezium so we have a trapezium b p q a a trapezium a c r q and another trapezium b c r p now by combinations of different areas we can calculate the area of this triangle in fact the area of this triangle can be calculated as first adding up the areas of these two trapeziums then subtracting from them the area of this trapezium that is area of triangle abc is equal to area of trapezium abpq that is this trapezium plus area of trapezium acrq that is this trapezium minus area of trapezium bcrp that is this trapezium now friends area of a trapezium is given as half into sum of parallel sides into distance between them so for the first trapezium we have parallel sides as aq and bp and the distance between them is the shortest distance that is this distance pq similarly for the second trapezium the parallel sides are aq and cr and the distance is qr for the third trapezium we have parallel lines as bp and cr and the distance between them is pr thus we have this expression where we have substituted the different names of the parallel lines and the distance between these parallel lines for the corresponding trapeziums now friends what is bp the length of bp is the y coordinate of b that is y2 similarly aq is the y coordinate of a that is y1 and cr is the y coordinate of c that is y3 so we know the length of vertical lines but what about these horizontal distances friends what is pq it is oq minus op and oq is the x coordinate of a whereas op is the x coordinate of p thus pq will be x1 minus x2 similarly we can find out all the three horizontal distances also as this distance as x1 minus x2 
this distance as x3 minus x1 and this distance as x3 minus x2. So on substituting different values in this expression and rearranging these different values we will get this expression. So this is how the expression of area of triangle ABC has been obtained. Now let us discuss how to remember this expression. Now to remember this formula if you are given with coordinates of A, B and C first of all write the X coordinates of A, B and C with proper spacing. All these coordinates will be added with their certain multiples. So put a plus sign in front of X2 and X3 and the multiples of x1, x2 and x3 will be some difference values of the y coordinates. So inside the round brackets we will have the difference of y coordinates but how to write the subscript? To write the subscripts of the y follow this cyclic order. That is, if you have 1, that is x1 outside the round brackets, then you will write 2 and 3 in the subscript inside the round brackets. Now if you have x2 outside the round brackets, then follow this cyclicity and write 3 and 1. If you have x3 outside the round brackets, then follow this cycle and write 1 and 2 in the subscript. Now never forget to multiply this term with half and you will get the area of the triangle ABC. Now never forget to multiply this term with half and you will get the area enclosed by these three points. Friends, since this formula is used to calculate the area enclosed by three points, so in case when the three points are lying on a line, that is the points A, B and C are collinear. The area enclosed by them will be 0. So this formula can also be used to check if the three points are collinear or not. If the area enclosed is 0, the three given points will be collinear and if the area enclosed is not equal to 0, they will be non-collinear. Now let us apply this formula to certain questions. In the first question, we are asked to find area of a triangle formed by the vertices A, B and C and we are given with their coordinates. So let us first of all denote these coordinates with x1, y1 for A, x2, y2 for B and x3, y3 for C. So to write the formula of area of triangle ABC as we have done earlier first write the x coordinates then put plus sign with x2 and x3 then inside the round brackets there will be difference of the y coordinates according to 
a cyclic order that is if we have x1 outside the round brackets then y2 and y3 first y2 then y3 will be subtracted from y2 for x2 since we have x2 so 3 and 1 will be written that is y3 and y1 and for x3 we will have y1 and y2 and after that never forget to multiply this term with half so now all we need to do is just substitute the different values that is x1 is 4 y2 and y3 are 3 and 2 respectively x2 is 2 y3 is 2 whereas y1 is minus 2 x3 is 3 and y1 is minus 2 and y2 is 3 So we have 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 into 1 will be 4 plus 2 into this 2 minus sign will give us plus sign so 2 plus 2 will be 4 so 2 into 4 will be 8 plus minus 2 and minus 3 will be minus 5 so 3 into minus 5 will be minus of 15 so this plus and when this round bracket is open will give us minus of 15 so for these three terms we will have 4 plus 8 minus 15 that is 12 minus 15 or simply minus 3 which is multiplied by this half so all in all we have minus 3 by 2 as the area or minus 1.5 square units since area is in square units now friends area and length can never be negative they are non negative terms no doubt they can be zero but here we are having negative value so just reject this negative value and the required area is either 3 by 2 square units or in decimals it is 1.5 square units so this negative is dropped now the second question asks us to find the value of k if the points a b and c are collinear first of all let us again denote a b and c with the proper terms x and y that is for a let it be x1 y1 for b the coordinates be x2 y2 for c the coordinates be x3 y3 now friends since it is given that the given points are collinear so we can say that area enclosed by them is equal to 0 square units thus all we need to do is first write the formula of the area substitute these values and on solving the equation we will get the value of k so the formula is first write x1 x2 and x3 put plus sign here in the round brackets follow the cyclicity that is for 1 we will have y2 minus y3 for x2 we will have y3 minus y1 and for x3 we will have y1 minus y2 and we have written half as the multiple equal to 0 now 
if we multiply both the sides with ha with 2 that is 2 into this complete equation or you can say 2 into this left hand side and 2 into this right hand side 2 into 0 will give us 0 because 0 multiplied by any number is 0 and 2 into half will give us 1 so this half will be removed on multiplying thus on multiplying by 2 we will get this equation from the previous equation that we have formed of the formula we have multiplied by 2 just to remove this half to get the advantage of this 0 so now substituting different values x1 is minus 1 y2 is k and y3 is 9 x2 is 2 y3 is 9 and y1 is 1 x3 is 5 then we have y1 as 1 and y2 as k equal to 0 so we have minus k plus 9 on opening this bracket and 9 minus 1 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 here we have 5 minus 5k equal to 0 so now this will give us 25 plus 5 which is 30 so these three terms will give us 30 whereas the remaining two terms will give us minus of 6k equal to 0 on bringing minus 6k or 30 to right hand side it will become minus 30 so k will be minus 30 over minus 6 which is 5 thus the value of k is 5 for the given points to be collinear now let us have a last question on this topic here we need to find the area of quadrilateral formed by the vertices a b c and d when taken in order now let us discuss the last question here we are asked to find the area of the quadrilateral formed by the vertices a b c and d taken in order Friends, we have mentioned the formula to calculate the area enclosed by three points. But here, four points are given A, B, C, and D. So, how to calculate area enclosed by four points using this formula? Friends, First of all, let us have a rough idea on how these points are located on the Cartesian plane. A will be on the first quadrant over here. B will also be on the first quadrant. C here on the second quadrant and D being both the negative coordinates on the third quadrant here So since these points are taken in order, so let us join all these points in order as mentioned to get a rough idea of the quadrilateral.
Now friends, if we join any of the two opposite sides, we will get two triangles. Say, let us join A with C. So we are getting two triangles this one and this one such that the addition of the areas of these two triangles will be the area of the complete triangle. So we can say that area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ACD. Now all we need to do is calculate the separate areas and such that addition of the two areas will be equal to the area of complete quadrilateral ABCD. Therefore, area of ABCD is equal to area of triangle ACD plus area of triangle ABC. Now all we need to do is calculate the individual areas and then substitute those areas in this equation. So we know that the area of triangle ABC with coordinates of A, B and C, B, X1, Y1, X2, Y2 and X3, Y3 is equal to half into X1, X2, X3 and then we have in square units. So now for the given triangle ABC for ABC we have the coordinates as A2,1 B 1,5 and C minus 3,4 and for the triangle ACD we have the coordinates as A 2,1 C minus 3,4 and D minus 4, minus 1. Now for triangle ABC, let us assume different vertices to be x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 so as to apply this formula. Thus, we will have area of triangle ABC as half into x1 that is 2, y2 minus y3 which is 5 minus 4 which will be 1 plus x2 which is 1 y3 minus y1 that is 4 minus 1 or 3 plus x3 which is minus of 3 so plus minus of 3 into y1 minus y2 that is 1 minus 5 which is minus 4 so we have this value as 2 plus 3 and minus 3 into minus 4 will be 12 so 12 plus 3 plus 2 that is 17 or the area of triangle ABC is 17 by 2 square units. Thus this value is 17 by 2 in square units. 
Now for this triangle ACD again let us assume different vertices to be x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 y3. So as to apply this formula, thus we have area of triangle ACD is equal to half into x1 which is 2, y2 minus y3 that is 4 minus minus of 1 which will give us 4 plus 1 or simply 5 plus x2 which is minus of 3 y3 minus y1 that is minus 1 minus 1 so minus of 2 plus x3 which is minus 4 and y1 minus y2 which is 1 minus 4 so we have half this value is 10 and this value is 6 here we have minus 3 into minus 4 which is 12 so the complete value is 28 divided by 2 so the area of this triangle ACD is 28 by 2 square units so the complete area of the quadrilateral ABCD will be sum of these two that is 28 plus 17 by 2 or 45 by 2 or simply 22.5 square units so friends this is how you can calculate the area enclosed by or 22.5 square units. Thus the area of the quadrilateral ABCD is 22.5 square units. So friends this is how we can calculate the area enclosed by four points using the formula for area of a triangle in coordinate geometry. So that's all in this video. Thanks friends for watching Adopedia Word videos.